now let's see about C++ program to overload assignment operator. Uh, generally by using assignment operator we can assign a right hand side value to a left hand side variable. But now with the help of this operator overloading concept we are assigning the content of an object to another object with the help of this uh, operator overloading. Now let's see the program. The first statement is hash include iostream.h why because in this program we are using C out and C in objects those two objects are present in I stream header file next statement hash include carnivo.h why because in this program we are using get ch and CLR SCR functions those two functions are present in carnivo header file uh, next class uh, let name of the class is sum num num under the private section uh, let us declare uh, two variables in a comma b under the public section uh, let us have read method so by using read method uh, here we have to read these two values c out less than less than enter enter a comma b next to c in greater than greater than a greater than greater than b uh, next uh, define display function in order to display a and b values so C out less than less than slash n display a value a is equal to less than less than a less than less than slash t b is equal to less than less than b. So likewise uh, display function is also defined. Now we have to define the operator function. So now let us define operator function. Uh, we know that operator function may be either uh, member function or friend function. Let us define operator function as the friend function void. Here we are not returning any value, so that's why we, we are using void. Next, we have to use a keyboard called operator. Next, here we are overloading the assignment operator is equal to. And next, object. What is uh, what is the class here? Num is the class name. Uh, and we need to have an object here. Uh, let us assume that object is some OTC one like this. Uh, we will write the code uh, after defining the main function. Uh, let us define the main function. So int main in the main uh, let us create two objects here so num obj1 comma obj2 so here the target is uh, we have to call read method for the first object so let us call a read method by invoking obj1 so obj1 dot read now the control goes to the read method so name of the object is obj1 member variables a b let we have a here let we have b here Next, obj2 is equal to obj1. So, whenever the statement is executed, then what will happen is uh, uh, this operator function will get executed. And here, uh, this uh, obj1, this obj1 information will be passed to this obj1. And here, uh, this, here obj2 is the invoking object, calling object. We can access obj2 content directly in the operator function. So that means without uh, using obj2 name, we can we can access the variables here. So here, what are the variables here? A and B. So A is equal to whereas this obj1 information is passed to this obj1. So what is obj1 information? A value 10, B value 20. So that will be stored there. So A is equal to obj1 dot A. Next B is equal to obj2 dot A. If you want, here we can uh, use a reference variable. We know the advantage of the reference variable. If you perform any modification on this, that modification will be reflected here also. Why? Because reference means it provides an alias name for the existing variable. Uh, so now what we have in is uh, uh, a uh, in for obj2 object, a value will become a value will become what is obj1 dot a 10. B value will become 20 here. Now let us call obj2 dot this here. So whenever this, this uh, display function is called, then the control goes to the display function. So in obj2, what is a value? 10. What is b value? 20. So a value 10, b value 20 uh, will get uh, displayed. So in this way, we can overload assignment operator. So whenever this statement is executed, control goes to this operator function and this obj1 information will be passed here. And here, uh, obj2 is the calling object. So we can access obj2 content directly here. 
without a whole bc2 name so a value will become 10 b value will become 20 so that means in whole bc2 now a value is 10 b value is 20 if you invoke if we call whole bc2 dot display method then a value will be displayed as 10 and b value will be displayed as 20 in this way we can overload the assignment operator next class let name of the class is equality under the private section we have two member variables such as a and b under the public section we have read function which reads a and b values next we have operator function uh, here uh, which operator we are overloading here equality uh, operator i'm sorry here uh, now let us check whether the program will works properly or not so first we have i was doing header file next to cargo header file next we have a class called num under the private section we have two variables such as a and b under the public section we have read function which reads a and b values next we have operator function for uh, uh, for assignment operator that is is equal to uh, here we can take this as uh, A reference variable also it is our choice uh, next we have display method in order to display the corresponding result next this is nothing but uh, end of the class next main function under the main function we have created objects for uh, uh, num class obj1 and obj2 so obj1 dot read next obj2 is equal to obj1 so whenever this statement is executed the operator function is equal to be gets called Uh, next uh, let us display um, which information now we have to display obj2 information why because already obj1 information is there so obj2 dot display uh, yeah here uh, uh, we are displaying both the objects so there is no problem so obj1 information obj1 dot display next obj2 information obj2 dot display compile so zero letters and zero ones run Enter two numbers. Let the first number is eleven, second number is twenty-two. So what is OBJ one information? A value eleven, B value twenty-two. OBJ two information, A value eleven and B value is twenty-two. So here with the help of is equal to operator, we are overloading that uh, is equal to operator so that uh, OBJ one information is assigned to OBJ two. Here if you want to have a space between information and here, let us give a space here. So I'll see compile. I'll run. Let the first number level, second number twenty. So like that, we can get the output. So in this way, we can overload the assignment operator.